So I would like to read from these are the prayers of Prahlad Maharaj after Nishingade has killed the wicked demon Delany Hashiku. He's in this very angry mood and nobody can approach him. And then Prahlad is pushed forward. And then there are these beautiful prayers that Prahlad offers at that time. So I would like to read from that. Magyana Timinandasya, Gyananjana Shalakaya, Chakshar Minitanjana, Tatsmai Shi, Guru Vena Maha, Shi Nada Dubacha, Evam Sada Daya Sarve, Brahma Rudra Pura Sada, Nupaita Masha Panmanyo, Sambrambam Sudada Sadam. The great saint Nada Damuni continued, The demigods headed by Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, and other great demigods dared not come forward before the Lord, who at that time was extremely angry. Sakshachi Peshita Deve Dishta Tamma Hanad Bhutam Ajishta Shuta Purvatvat Sanopeya Sankita. The goddess of fortune, Lakshmiji, was requested to go before the Lord by all the demigods present, but because of fear could not do so. But even she had never seen such a wonderful and extraordinary form of the Lord, and thus she could not approach him. Radadam Peshayam Masa, Brahmavasti Tamantike, Tata Prashama Yopegi, Swapitre Kutitam Prabhum. Thereafter, Lord Brahma requested Prahlad Maharaj, who was standing very near him. My dear son, Lord Nishingadev is extremely angry at your demoniac father. Please go forward and appease the Lord. Adete Shanakai Rajan Mahabhagavato Vibhaka Upetya Bhuvikayena Nanama Vijitanjali Nada, Nada Damuni continued, O King, although the exalted devotee Prahlad Maharaj was only a little boy, he accepted Lord Brahma's words. He gradually proceeded toward Lord Nishingadev and fell down to offer his respectful obeisances with folded hands. Sapadamule patitam tamarbakam vilokya deva kripaya parikrutaha utapyatak chishna daddat karambujam kalahi vichashta diyam kitabayam when Lord Nishingadev saw the small boy, Prahlad, prostrated at the soles of his lotus feet, he became most ecstatic in affection toward his devotee. Raising Prahlad, the Lord placed his lotus hand upon the boy's head, because his hand is always ready to create fearlessness in all of his devotees. <laughs> so sweet. Satatkara sparsha bhuta ilashubaha sapadya bivyakta paratma darshanaha tatpara padmam vidini bhutta dado vishatanuklina vidashulochanaha. By the touch of Lord Nishingadev's hand on Prahlad Maharaj's head, Prahlad was completely freed of all material contaminations and desires, as if he had been thoroughly cleansed. Therefore, he at once became transcendentally situated, and all the symptoms of ecstasy became manifest in his body. His heart filled with love and his eyes with tears, and thus he was able to completely capture the lotus feet of the Lord within the core of his heart. <laughs> Prahlad Maharaj fixed his mind and sight upon Lord Nishingadev with full attention in complete trance. With a fixed mind, he began to offer prayers in love with a faltering voice. Shri Prahlad Uvacha Brahmadaya Suragana Munayuta Siddha Sadvaikata Sattvaikatanagatayu vachasam pravahai naraditam purukane 
अधुना पिपीतो हिम दोष्टम बारहति सामे हरि विकार जते हुए प्रलाद महाराज प्रेड हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल फॉर मी हु हैव बीन बोर्न इन अ फैमिली ऑफ असोरस डीमन्स टू ऑफर सुटेबल प्रेयर्स टू सैटिस्फाई द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड है even until now all the demigods headed by lord brahma and all the saintly persons could not satisfy the lord by streams of excellent words although such persons are very qualified being in the mode of goodness then what is to be said of me i am not at all qualified manye dana bijana rupa tapa shuto jas teja prabhava bala purush buddhi yoga ha प्रहलाद कंटिन्यूड वन मे पोजेस वेल एंड अरिस्टोक्रेटिक फैमिली ब्यूटी ऑस्टेरिटी एजुकेशन सेंसरी एक्सपर्टीज लस्टर इन्फ्लुएंस फिजिकल स्ट्रेंथ डिलीजेंस इंटेलिजेंस एंड मिस्टिक योगिक पावर But I think that even by all these qualifications, one cannot satisfy the supreme Lord. However, one can satisfy the Lord simply by devotional service. Gajendra did this, and thus the Lord was satisfied with him. He prayed the Shad Guna Yuta Dada Vinda Naba, but Dada Vinda Vimukha Swapacham Vadistam Manye Tadar Pita Manu Vachane Hitaita. Pranam punati sakulam na tu puri maha. If a Brahmin has all twelve of the Brahminical qualifications, but is not a devotee and is averse to the lotus feet of the Lord, he is certainly lower than a devotee who is a dog eater, but who has dedicated everything—mind, words, activities, wealth, and life—to the supreme Lord. Such a devotee is better than a Brahmin because such a Brahmin. Such a devotee is better than such a Brahmin because the devotee can purify his whole family, whereas the so-called Brahmin, in a position of false prestige, cannot purify even himself. Naivat na prabhu ayam nija lava purno manam jana davi dusha karuno vinte yad yad jano bhagavate vidadi tamanam. The supreme Lord is always fully satisfied in Himself. Therefore, when something is offered to Him, the offering, by the Lord's mercy, is for the benefit of the devotee. For the Lord does not need service from anyone. To give an example, if one's face is decorated, the reflection of one's face in a mirror is also seen to. स्मारहम विगात विक्लावेश्वर से सर्वात्मनमाहि विनामि यथा मनीषम इच्छो जाय गुण विसर्गम अनुप्रविष्टा भूये तये न हि कोमन अनुवारितेन देयरफॉर ऑल्दो आई वाज बोर्न इन अ डेमोनियक फैमिली आई मेड विदाउट अ डाउट ऑफर प्रेयर्स टू द लॉर्ड विद फुल एंडेवर एज़ फार एज़ माय इंटेलिजेंस अलाउस Any one who has been forced by ignorance to enter the material world may be purified of material life if he offers prayers to the Lord and hears the Lord's glories. Sarve yami vidikada stava sattva damno ramajyo vayami veshana chodvi jantaha chemaya bhutaya utatma sukaya chasya. Vipritam Bhagavato Ruchi Ravatara. O oh my Lord, all the demigods headed by Lord Brahma are sincere servants of Your Lordship, who are situated in a transcendental position. Therefore, they are not like us. Meaning myself, Pralad, and my father, Vani Kashi. Your appearance in this fearsome world is your pastime for your own pleasure. Such an incarnation is always meant for the protection and improvement of the universe. Tadyachamanyam masaras chayatas chayadya odeta sadorapi vishtika sarpahatya 
दुखस्थानी सर्वे धूपम नृसिंह विपहाय जना स्मरती My Lord, the Shingha Dev, please therefore cease your anger now that my father, the great demon Hiranyakashipu, has been killed. Since even saintly persons take pleasure in the killing of a scorpion or a snake. <laughs> okay, interesting. <laughs> so maybe it's okay to kill the scorpions. <laughs> since they're highly poisonous creatures. All the worlds have achieved great satisfaction because of the death of this demon. Now they are confident of their happiness and they will always remember your auspicious incarnation in order to be free from fear. There is some, you know, there, there's like some science to this, you know, because like, for example, I remember Srila Sridhar didn't approve of killing snakes in the, in the mott, maybe because they were in the mott, the cobras. There was some incident with David Shish Prabhu, maybe you heard from him, where to protect himself, he killed a cobra that was coming at him, and Srila Sridhar was very unhappy about it. So I wonder, maybe because they were in the Holy Dham. Because there's also, it's all, there's also mention, I'm remembering, there's some general ruling that there's per, snakes are like the only animal, if you kill them, they won't have to relive that birth. But they'll, because normally, like one of the sins of killing an animal, one of the points about why it's so sinful is that you haven't allowed them to complete that cycle of karma. And so then they have to go back into that birth again to live it out again. But what I heard about snakes was that they're the exception and that you're actually helping them if you kill them and they can move on to the next. You didn't hear that before. But then I wonder why. Maybe cobras are a different category, possibly. Or maybe because it's in the dam. I don't know. We have to find out from someone who knows. But there are definitely specific considerations, right? connection with particular species and situations. Gurudev also mentioned how it says in the scriptures that, that you know, it's permissible to kill very small insects. That, that, and it's something like, if you can hold a thousand of them in, your, in the palms of your hand, like, then, then it is a very, very little sin to connect to them. It is, it is of a lower, you know, lower consideration there. So, anyhow. Now they are confident of their happiness. They will always remember your auspicious incarnation in order to be free from fear. Naham bibe miyajitate ibayana pasya jivarka netra bhukuti ravaso Ancha Shraja Shachaja Keshara Shankukanam Nirada Bita Dilibada Dibinda Kavrat. My Lord, who are never conquered by anyone, I am certainly not afraid of your ferocious mouth and tongue, your eyes bright like the sun, or your frowning eyebrows. Eyebrows. <laughs> I do not fear your sharp, pinching teeth. <laughs> Your garland of intestines, <laughs> your mane soaked with blood, or your high wedge-like ears. Nor do I fear your tumultuous roaring, which makes elephants flee to distant places, or your nails, which are meant to kill your enemies. I love how specific this is. <laughs> because they have this relationship of love. Ordinarily, someone very frightening, with a very fearsome appearance, you know, you'll be put off by them. But because of the connection of love, I have no fear. I feel comforted in your presence. I feel safe in your presence. Chashtos maham vipana vatsava dusa hogra samsara chakra karana dvasatam pranita padasa karma bhirushatamartim vimulam 
पितोपवाग शरणम पायसे कदानु It's like it reminds me of um there's this famous verse in Bhagavatam when Krishna leaves Vrindavan kind of like for the first time to and he enters that rush of wrestling arena right at the invitation of Kamsa for a friendly wet wrestling match <laughs> um they're intending to kill Krishna of course um so Krishna arrives to Mathura he enters this big arena and you know there's it's like a what do you call is that what you call a stadium it's like a circular thing and everyone's you know there's thousands of people around watching and and there you know all classes of persons are there and his friends and family from Vrindavan many of them are there and there are many great kings who are there and many women are there and and there's this wonderful verse in the Shrida Maharaj likes that verse um describing how each person according to their mentality saw a different vision of krishna right you can show you've heard that so like the the kings they saw death personified you know and the the residents of vrindavan oh our own boy krishna <clears throat> our beloved boy krishna you know he's like he's our guy he's our boy he's one of us you know yeah he's going to win this and then the yogis they saw paramatma and the women saw the most beautiful handsome attractive man they never seen in their lives and <clears throat> like this so and some very feeling frightened to see this strong powerful form and others are feeling very happy joyful and attracted like that so according to our own you know mentality the lord will show he's a, the hypnotist right mystic hypnotist divine hypnotist so according to our mentality we will have a different experience we have a different vision of that supreme reality so the shringa dev is in this very fearsome form but prahlad is feeling very happy same in his presence chashto svaham gripana vatsala dusa hogra samsara chakra karana vasatam pranita Vadasa karma bir vushatama tangvi mulam pritopavarga sharanam vayase kadanu. O most powerful, insurmountable Lord, who are kind to the fallen souls, I have been put into the association of demons as a result of my activities, and therefore I am very much afraid of my condition of life within this material world. When will that moment come when you will call me to the shelter? of your lotus feet which are the ultimate goal for liberation from conditional life yasmat priya priya vyoga samyoga janma shokagni na sakala yunishu jayamanaha duko shadam tadapi dukham mata diyaham uman brahmami padame tava dasya yogam o great one o supreme lord because of combination with pleasing and displeasing circumstances and because of separation from them one is placed in a most regrettable position within heavenly or hellish planets as a burning in a fire of lamentation although there are many remedies by which to get out of miserable life any such remedies in the material world are more miserable than the miseries themselves Oh, I'm so happy to see this because I had some vague recollection recollection of this, and now I miss from here. It's 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 the truth. It's the God honest truth. I was talking about this a few days ago too. Remedies for suffering in this world create more suffering. You know, it's like, you know, just as one example of that. very simple example like so many medicines right that are used they have so many side effects right that can create more problems or like um also an example we use sometimes is like so like cleaning agents that we use they can create more problems right like now so much of the environments becoming polluted because of various cleaning agents right so that that's the world that we live in 
Although there are many remedies by which to get out of miserable life, any such remedies in the material world are more miserable than the, rem than the miseries themselves. <laughs> this is brilliant. Therefore, I think that the only remedy is to engage in your service. Kindly instruct me, instruct me in such service. This is wonderful. So ham priyasya suvida hara devataya lila katastava na shinga vidin shahita anjastata yanugrinan guna vipra mukto dorgani te pada yugalaya hamsa sangha. O my Lord Nishinga Dev, by engaging in your transcendental loving service in the association of devotees who are liberated souls, hamsas, I shall become completely uncontaminated by the association of the three modes of material nature and be able to chant the glories of your Lordship who are so dear to me. I shall chant your glories following exactly in the footsteps of Lord Brahma and his disciplic succession. In this way, I shall undoubtedly be able to cross the ocean of Nessian. Balasya neha sharanam pitaro nashinga, Nartasya jagadam gudanvati majadono, Taptasya tat perpti vidirya ihandra seshtas, Tavadri botanu vritam parupekshitanam. O my Lord Nashinga Dev, O Supreme, because of a bodily conception of life, embodied souls neglected and not cared for by you cannot do anything for their betterment. Whatever remedies they accept, although perhaps temporarily beneficial, are certainly impermanent. For example, a father and mother cannot protect their child. A physician and medicine cannot relieve a suffering patient. And a boat on the ocean cannot protect a drowning man. Yasminyato yarhiyena chayasya yasmad Yasmaya tayaduta yastra para parova, Bava karoti vikaroti pritaksha bava, Sancho di tastada kilambavata sarupam. My dear Lord, everyone in this material world is under the modes of material nature, being influenced by goodness, passion, and ignorance. Everyone from the greatest personality, Lord Brahma, down to the small ant, works under the influence of these modes. Therefore, everyone in this material world is influenced by your energy. The cause for which they work, the place where they work, the time when they work, the matter due to which they work, the goal of life they have considered final, and the process for obtaining this goal, all are nothing but manifestations of your energy. Oh my God, that is so brilliant. That is so brilliant. <clears throat> Everyone in this material world is influenced by your energy. The cause for which they work, the plane where they work, the time when they work, the matter due to which they work, the goal of life they have considered final, and the process for obtaining this goal, all are nothing but manifestations of your energy. Wow, that's so brilliant. It's a good one for a post. Indeed, since the energy and energetic are identical, all of them are but manifestations of you. Maya mana shujati, karma maya baliya, palena chodita gunanu matena pumsaha, chando maya yad, ayajarpita, sodasharam, samsara chakra majako, titaritaranyaha. O Lord, O Supreme Eternal, by expanding your plenary portion, you have created the subtle bodies of the living entities through the agency of your external energy, which is agitated by time. Thus the mind entraps the living entity in unlimited varieties of desires to be fulfilled by the Vedic directions of karma kanda, fruit of activity, and the 16 elements. Who can get free from this entanglement unless he takes shelter at your lotus feet? Satram hi nitya vijitatma guna svadamna kalo vashi pitta vishidya visarga shakti chakre vishishtam 
अजहेश्वर शोध साले निष्पीड्यमानम उपकर्ष विभो प्रपानम My dear Lord, O Supreme Great, you have created this material world of sixteen constituents, but you are transcendental to their material qualities. In other words, these material qualities are under your full control, and you are never conquered by them. Therefore, the time element is your representation. My Lord, O Supreme, no one can conquer you. As for me, however, I am being crushed by the wheel of time, and therefore I surrender fully unto you. Now kindly take me under the protection of your lotus feet. Jishtamaya divihi bokila jishnyapanam ayushriyo vibhava chati anjanoyam yesmat putu yesmat pitu kupita hasya vijim vitabu my dear Lord, people in general want to be elevated to the higher planetary systems for a long duration of life, opulence, and enjoyment. But I have seen all of these through the activities of my father. When my father was angry and he laughed sarcastically at the demigods, they were immediately vanquished simply by seeing the movements of his eyebrows. Yet my father, who was so powerful, has now been vanquished by you within a moment. Tasmada mushtana bhittam baham bhashi shogya ayushriyam ibhavam aindriyam bhavidinchat nechamite vibhavitan udup nikriman nina kalatmano panayamam nijabhitya bhashtam my dear Lord, now I have complete experience concerning the worldly opulence, mystic power, longevity, and other material pleasures enjoyed by all living entities, from Lord Brahma down to the ant. As powerful time, you destroy them all. Therefore, because of my experience, I do not wish to possess them. <laughs> my dear Lord, I request you to place me in touch with your pure devotee and let me serve him as a sincere servant. Putra shesha shuti sukha yuga chishni dupaha vedam kalevaram asheshalujam vidohaha nir vidyate natu jano yadapiti vidvan samanalam madula vai shamayandura pai. In this material world, every living entity desires some future happiness which is exactly like a mirage in the desert. Where is water in the desert? Or in other words, where is happiness in this material world? As for this body, what is, it, what is its value? It is merely a source of various diseases. The so-called philosophers, scientists, and politicians know this very well, but nonetheless they aspire for temporary happiness. Happiness is very difficult to obtain, but because they are unable to control their senses, they run after the so-called happiness of the material world and never come to the right conclusion. This chapter, it's like an expose. <laughs> it's, like, it's just like, like crystal clear. It's all just laid out in like crystal clear detail. Like this is the real lowdown. What, what's really going on in this world? What's the real nature of the activity, so-called pleasure, and fruitless pursuits of persons in this world, ourselves and myself? Vaham Raja Prabhavai Shatamo Dikesman Shatta Suritara Pune Kwa Tavana Kampa Na Brahmano Na Tubhavasya Na Vairamaya Oh my Lord, O oh Supreme, because I was born in a family full of the hellish material qualities of passion and ignorance, what is my position? And what is to be said of your causeless mercy, which was never offered even to Lord Brahma, Lord Shiva, the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi? You never put your lotus hand upon their heads, but you have put it upon mine. Naisha Paravada Matir Bhavatu Bhavato Nanusya Jantor Yatatma Survido 
जगतस्तापि संसेवया सुरत रोईवते प्रसाद Unlike an ordinary living entity, my Lord, you do not discriminate between friends and enemies, the favorable and the unfavorable, because for you there is no conception of higher and lower. Nonetheless, you offer your benedictions according to the level of one's service, exactly as a desire tree delivers fruits according to one's desires and makes no distinction between the lower and the higher. Evam janam nipatitam prabhavari kupe kama bikama manuya prapatan prasangat vidvat masat surashina bhagavan viritaha soham katam nu vishjetava vidya sevam My dear Lord, O Supreme Personality of Godhead, because of my association with material desires, one after another, I was gradually following into a blind well full of snakes, following the general populace. But your servant Narada kindly accepted me as his disciple and instructed me how to achieve this transcendental position. Therefore, my first duty is to serve him. How could I ever leave his service? Maybe we can stop there for today. It's quite a long chapter. <coughs> Jai Shri Prahlad Maharaj Ki Jai Bhagavan Shri Mandir Ki Jai Bhagavan Ki Jai. Okay, we'll close there for today. Hmm. Thank you for joining us and hearing these beautiful prayers, enlightening. <laughs>